What's up, guys? Jay Finning, host of the Hard Parking Podcast. This time I'm with you and I'm going to talk about my microphones. A lot of people with my feedback say that I sound really good on the podcast, so you might as well check it out. So I wanted you to know, before I review these two microphones, which are the microphones I've been using for a long time, right now I'm recording with my native iPhone 12 Pro Max mic. I don't have anything plugged in and I'm not recording with my external recorder. So a couple things. Number one, this room is sound treated. It is a spare bedroom, but this half of the room is sound treated. So the sound deadens. So one of the things a lot of new podcasters don't really understand, and there's some that have been podcasting for a long time, but just don't seem to really care or get it. We have this thing in IT, because I do IT outside the podcast world. It's called GIGO. So for those who are familiar with that phrase, that's garbage in, garbage out. Gigo. So what happens, what that really means is whatever you put in the computer, if it's not any good, you can't expect good results. So podcasting is one of those things where you really should think about your surroundings when you're recording. The quality of your surroundings has a huge impact on how the output of your podcast is going to be. It's not everything, but it's a great start. So for instance, this room, like I said earlier, is sound deadened. Beyond that, you want to have some sort of an external recorder. If you can afford one, they're not expensive, but Podcasting can be an expensive hobby if you allow it to be. This one isn't expensive. In fact, this is a Zoom PodTrack P4. I did a review on that. You can check that out. The link will be in the description. So in front of me, I have an Electro Voice RE20, which I used for most of this year, and an RE27, which I recently upgraded to. Personal preference, they're both extremely high quality dynamic broadcast microphones. You're going to want dynamic. People will tell you it doesn't matter if you have a dynamic or Condenser, it does matter. I could use a condenser microphone in this room and it's gonna sound a lot better than if I use it somewhere else in the house because a condenser is for a controlled studio space, essentially. Dynamic is for just about anything. Everybody loves a Shure SM7B, that's a dynamic microphone. These electric voices, RE20s, RE27 and the RE320, those are the dynamic microphones. So those of you who are huge fans of Joe Rogan, millions of you are, take a look at his setup. Sure, SM7Bs. Those are dynamic microphones that require phantom power. Those are dynamic microphones. Those are condensers. If you're a big fan of Adam Carolla, if you watch ESPN, a lot of the sports shows, those podcasts, they're using electro voices. So that tells you two top tier professional level microphones or dynamic microphones. That's what you're really going to want for your podcast, unless you're in a controlled studio space. And even then, you're going to want dynamic. So the whole purpose of this video is just kind of give you guys what the sound is. Same voice, same studio, same controller, although I'll only be controlling my gain. I won't do any external processing other than making sure the volume is at a good level. So usually I do all my editing in Adobe Audition. Comment below if you want me to do a tutorial on Adobe Audition for podcasters. There's a lot of other ones out there, but I'll make you one if you'd like. So this isn't actually a review of the microphones. It's letting you know what the microphones sound like through my voice and you can judge on your own. The sound of your voice through these microphones can sound significantly different. It's all about choosing the best microphone for you, not the price of the microphone. Okay, right now we're gonna start off with the RE27. Got the microphone, I don't know, five, six inches from my mouth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read the same excerpt from this book. Actually, I'm not even going to go that far into the book because I hate reading. I shouldn't admit that. I know how to read. I just lose interest. However, this is a book a good friend of mine, Zach Johnson, suggested over in, uh, in Germany. This is called Atomic Habits by James Clear. You know, I should get the audiobook because it's been sitting on the corner of my desk for like four months. Anyway. This is the New York Times bestseller, Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results, Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. Over 1 million copies sold. So let's go ahead and read this. No matter your goals, Atomic Habits offers a proven framework for getting 1% better every day. James Clear, one of the world's leading experts on habit formation, reveals practical strategies that will teach you exactly how to master the tiny behaviors that lead to remarkable results. Good night. Okay, hold on. Okay, now we're here with the RE20. One thing that I've noticed is I would have to turn the gain up a little bit. The other microphone, the RE27, is a more bright microphone. 
this is a little more not bright. Here we go. Tiny changes, remarkable results, atomic habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. Over 1 million copies sold, author James Clear. No matter your goals, Atomic Habits offers a proven framework for getting 1% better every day. James Clear, one of the world's leading experts on habit formation, reveals practical strategies that will teach you exactly how to master the tiny behaviors that lead to remarkable results. I think we should try this in another room just so you can understand how your environment and your microphone matter. We're going to go into another room, read this with the iPhone mic. That's it. Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read for you Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results, Atomic Habits, Over 1 Million Copies Sold by James Clear. If you haven't noticed, I'm in a room and there's a lot of reverb around me. I'm not using a professional microphone. I'm not even using a beginner microphone. No, in fact, I'm just using the microphone that came with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm sure you guys get the picture. Garbage in, garbage out. Your environment matters. The tools you use, they absolutely matter. So let's just go back into my office and wrap this video up. Well guys, that's it. Hope you like the difference. Hope you can tell the difference in the sound. Again, no real processing. I just made sure the volume was the same. I really love my RE27. I love my RE20, but it was time for me to upgrade or what I thought was an upgrade, although really it doesn't really matter. But since I have two of these, in one of these, I want to make sure I have three of these and none of these. Maybe I should have got three of these. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, which one you made. Maybe you, you thought sounded better for dynamic microphones. I don't have an RE320. This isn't necessarily a microphone review channel. There's a lot of them out there. But every time I get some technology that I use for the podcast, that I use for YouTube, got to share it here, man. Let's do this. Let's grow this thing together. Thanks, guys.